Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. Would you say your life is orderly or chaotic? I know for me, it just depends on the day. Some days, very chaotic. I don't know what's going to happen from one minute to the next. Other days are very orderly and I pretty much know the plan and how it's going to work. Kind of like this grandfather clock and the pendulum that powers it. We pretty much know the motion that the pendulum is going to go through and it's very predictable. It's going to continue to go back and forth. Well, have you ever had a chance to see a double pendulum? It's a little bit different. It's chaotic. In fact, it's poetry in chaotic motion. And that's what we're going to build on today's weekend project. Make Volume 22 is where you'll find the Double Pendulum by William Gerstel. For this project, you'll need a square foot piece of polycarbonate plastic about a quarter inch thick. You'll also need some high quality skateboard bearings. I used the best I could find, the Abex 7s. You'll also need some 5 16 inch bolts with matching nuts, an 8 millimeter steel or wood rod, a couple of rubber washers, and some nylon spacers or washers. There's a link along with this project where you'll find the parts layout for the three pieces of plastic we're going to be cutting. As always, you'll want to wear safety glasses and then begin cutting out the three pieces of plastic. You should have one 12 inch long piece and two 8 and 5 8 inch long pieces. Now we need to make a place for the bearings, so we're going to be drilling some 13 16 inch holes in our polycarbonate plastic. Or if you have a 22 millimeter spade bit, that'll work better. If you use a 13 16 inch bit, you're going to need to sand that hole out just a little bit. I use the Dremel to do that, and then it's time to put the bearings in each of those holes. Using a rubber mallet, carefully pound those bearings in place, and then make sure the bearing is flush on one side of the plastic. When you're done, the 12 inch piece of plastic should have three bearings in it, and the two smaller pieces, two bearings each. There's a few different variations of pendulums that we can build. For starters, we're going to build Rot's pendulum. So we'll take our longer piece and insert the bolt through the bearing, add some nylon washers and a smaller piece, and then a nut on the other side. The other end of our 12 inch piece will also get a bolt, a rubber washer, and the other smaller piece, and then a nut on that. Now the rubber washer will keep the one end in place while the other end of our pendulum will rotate. The last step for our double pendulum is to insert our three inch steel rod into our support. In this case, it's just a two by four that I have tightened down in a vise on my workbench. And then to insert the metal rod into this middle bearing in our cross support. The double pendulum is ready to give a spin. Giving our Rot's pendulum a nice spin causes the two arms to move in resonance with one another. This creates a very cool visual chaotic effect. By removing the rubber washer on the one end and adding more nylon spacers, we create a triple pendulum. This chaotic pendulum is truly a great conversation starter and something you could mount in your living room or bedroom and just have people give it a spin. Another fun trick is to add an LED with a 3 volt lithium battery and then get your still camera out and take some crazy time exposed photos. And that's how to make a double pendulum. We'll see you next week with another weekend project. Music